The right materials are important to any design. Piping system owners specify the metal alloys needed to transport their fluids and the details of the metal hoses used in them. Here at PEMFLEX, we specify the chemical and physical properties for our stainless steel, Hastelloy, Monel, Inconel, and bronze hoses. We make sure all of the raw materials are identified not only by the alloys, but with the mill heat number. This means we can trace the origin of the metal all the way back to the melt at the mill. We keep material test reports, or MTRs, issued by our raw material suppliers on file. These document the percentages of the elements that make up the alloy. They also include test results of properties like tensile and yield strength. Care and concern is required to keep different materials separate in the plant. On some projects, the end user wants to have added assurance that all those steps were followed throughout the fabrication of a metal hose assembly. A final verification that each component was actually made from the correct alloy. This is called PMI or Positive Material Identification. I'll show you how it works. It is accomplished using an alloy analyzer. We use the Olympus Delta Element Unit. This is an X-ray fluorescence analyzer. It's not difficult, but it takes time. After the data is collected, it can be downloaded from the device into an Excel spreadsheet for presentation to the customer. Recently, we were fabricating a group of assemblies which required all of the components to be PMI'd. I was performing the process I just demonstrated on about 150 slip-on flanges, which were all marked, like this one, as 316 stainless steel. In the middle of that work, I was very surprised to find one which came up with the result, 304. I had to put it aside and replace it with one which could be verified as 316. Our supplier had purchased a 316 flange in good faith and sold it to us, including the mill test report showing it as 316. Somewhere at the mill, there must have been a mix-up where a 304 flange got placed in the wrong group. A simple human error that we would never have found if we were not doing the PMI on every single flange. Sometimes when I'm doing the PMI check, it seems like a tedious task, which is not important, but my recent experience has proven its worth.